Hello Shopify developers. I am going to show you today uh, two different methods of putting a YouTube video into your Shopify shop. So I'm in the midst of moving for the first time a site that was using WooCommerce into Shopify. And I am exploring the different ways that I could um, do the same things that I already had in the shop um, and what those kind of features or best practices are in Shopify. So I have this YouTube video and it's a pretty big video because it's four minutes long. So it's not one that I want to self host. It would be faster um, speed on the page if it was from YouTube. So one method that I'm going to show you is how it is actually loaded from YouTube right in the product gallery area. And the other way is how I can add it via metadata. And this is not style to be in the center or where would I would align it yet, but just how I could bring it in that way with logic. All right, so let's start with how it can be part of the product gallery area. All right, so if I'm in a product, I know that in the media area, this is where I add images. And you can see here's the video that was shown there. So how I do that is I'm going to click select existing and I'm going to go into external videos, but you can really do it from anywhere and you're going to add from the URL. And then this is exactly where you would post your YouTube video. So this is the link that you would get. Let me go to one. Um, Let's say we want to add this one. So this is in my YouTube video, um, YouTube studio, get shareable link. It goes ahead and copies it. Come back in, just paste it right here. You can use Venmo or not Venmo, Vimeo or um, an image link from an external website. Say add file. It's going to go ahead and make a thumbnail and you can just say done and it automatically adds it up to your media. Apparently I had other things selected. And if I go ahead and view now, I should have two videos. Yep. Coming right from YouTube. So there's a thumbnail and then when I click play, it actually loads in the full YouTube video. So this is nice because um, it is being tracked as YouTube views. It's um, hosted from YouTube and it's part of your product media. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that I don't want. All right, so option two. So in product meta field definitions, what I did, I'm going to go ahead and click in and show you. I created one called embed YouTube video, put in embed YouTube link, and I made it a URL. All right, so what this allowed me to do is then create some logic. So we can see that it's on three products. And I know that one of the products that it is on is this six Kidron Legos or robots. All right, so your meta field show up um, below your variants. And I have this field embed YouTube video. So from YouTube, I have found the link that's an embed link. And so how you find that is if you are um, on your video, and you say get shareable link from your studio, it just copies it. But if you actually go to the page where it is live on YouTube and you say share from there, you have the option to click embed. And from this embed, you can see that there's a different link right here, right? So that's the link that you want to copy. All right, so we're going to use everything else the same and what we have made a variable is just this embed link. So that is what we're using here. I'm putting an embed link per product and then we're just going to change out that embed link. So in my theme, um, if we come in to the product page, I started creating and we're going to go ahead and change to our 
part we're a robot, so we can see it here. All right, and if we scroll down, where I'm starting to test is on this one, I made a custom liquid block. And over here, I did, if that field, the product meta fields custom embed YouTube video is not blank, right? So this is um, logic that's saying, if it's blank, we're just going to ignore this custom liquid area. But if it's not, here's the iframe code. And you can see I stuck in the variable right here from Product Metafield's custom embed YouTube video. So it automatically is grabbing the content that we put right here, filling it into that text. If this field is not empty, then we're putting the variable right here. Makes sense? So then um, that is how on the page I am grabbing this video. So that's another way that you could within your page layouts. And as I said, this isn't styled yet, but that's an interesting way that you could um, use embed code and embed um, YouTube videos as well. All right. So the only other thing that I wanted to show you was just to kind of be clearer. Um, I guess I'll need to navigate back. Mm. Oh, one other way that I can show you is on your page. If you create a page, there is this little video button, insert video, and now you can put a snippet of code. So you can put your YouTube video right here. Um, another thing, if you want your YouTube video to be responsive, let's say, so you could use this embed code and put the entire iframe right there, but it's not always responsive. So one thing you can do is grab your URL and there's a website called Embed Responsibly. And it allows you to choose um, Vimeo, Google Maps, you know, different things. Just type in your URL and it's gonna give you code that you can paste right there that's going to be responsive. Um, so that is another way you can just insert it right here. Whoops, not that. This one and it will show up. So you can do it from when you're gonna have the WYSIWYG content areas anywhere in Shopify. When you come in to custom data, you're gonna to come to products and you're going to select right, and copy. This is the variable right here that you're going to place in. So when we're looking at our theme, right? We're putting it within the double mustaches, that variable. So you can see, I just pasted it in. And again, um, that is the actual variable. And this one is um, in single mustache quotes there, right at the top. But it's still that same variable. All right. I hope this helps.